What's up, Alabama fans? This is Brandon, a.k.a. Fresh. I'm back again. I told y'all we're not slowing down. I got some. This Hey, this one is hot. This one is a hot one, guys. You already see what the title says. Go ahead and hit the like button. Smash the like button one time for me. You already know. Let me get 100 out the gate. Likes on this video. Uh, we've been slacking on the on the on the the main number. You know, the main number is a thousand, but we'll get to that later. When the season starts, you know, I'm not going to not going to let that one slide. So but anyway, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you like uh, hit the like button. Also share this video with your favorite Alabama fan. Uh, let's go. All right. So do y'all remember Rohan Davey? Former LSU quarterback, played under Nick Saban from 1998 to 1990. Uh, I'm sorry, 1998 to 2001. Uh, very big, uh, big body quarterback. About 6'2", 240, 250, somewhere in that range. Just a, a big, strong arm, big body. All right. Um, you know, and he made a comment or actually it was an interview and in the segment that caught my attention from uh Jacques Doucette down there in the Louisiana area. He was talking about, you know, Nick Saban and the Alabama season, and basically how he sees it, you know. And at this point, you know, I'm pretty sure he's just, you know, a Nick Saban, you know, supporter, you know. Definitely don't think he's rooting for Alabama. But just kind of giving the mindset anybody if there's anybody that knows Nick Saban, it would definitely be someone like Rohan Davy, who spent four years with Nick Saban. This was a pre-national championship Nick Saban. All right. This is a Nick Saban who was building the LSU program Nick Saban. You know, so you're talking about a hungry, uh, just starving, fiery Nick Saban. You know, he got to know this man before the 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 acclaim, the true acclaim of being considered a national champion. All right. And one thing that stood out to me was he's first started the interview saying Nick Saban is going to be highly motivated. And then he switched that and he said Nick Saban is highly pissed off. He is highly motivated. You understand me? He is highly pissed off. And he repeated it multiple times throughout the interview. Highly pissed off. And the clip was only like a minute and 15 seconds. So <laughs> he's, he's letting y'all know what Nick Saban is up to. And, you know, I, I, I know us here at Touchdown Alabama, we've kind of alluded to a lot of these things. You know, I've kind of mentioned it here in the past as well. You know, Nick Saban has never gone more than two years, especially while he's been in Alabama, never been more than two years without winning a national championship. All right, 2007, 2008, wins in 2009. 2010, wins in 2011, 2012. 2013, 2014, those are losses. Wins in 2015, 2016, you lose. Win in 2017, 2018, 2019, you win in 2020. Are y'all seeing a theme and a pattern here? So now we got 2021, 2022. Well, it's third time to charm. He doesn't know what this feels like in the, the, the entire tenure that he's been in Alabama. To lose three straight times. All right. And yes. SEC championships are wonderful. They 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 mean a, a ton at the University of Alabama. Trust me, I'm a graduate. Okay, I'm looking at my my uh, diploma right there on, on my wall as I'm speaking. Okay, but the thing that separates and what Alabama fans and alumni alumni anybody is the ring. It don't mean a thing if you don't got the ring. All right, and that's what Nick Saban understands as well. So do I believe that he's highly motivated and highly pissed off? Oh, you better believe it. I mean, why wouldn't he be? I mean, you had one that kind of slipped through, through your hands in 2021. You know, who knows what could have happened had John Mechie, Jameson Williams, uh, and all the other injuries that took place. That's unfortunately is part of football. Last year, you know, uh, just unfortunate, Bryce gets hurt. You know, he's back for the Tennessee game, but, you know, he's probably still 90 percent, 85, 90 percent. Still plays unbelievable, but you let that one slip away at the last moment. Probably should have still won the game, but you let it slip away. LSU, same scenario. All you got to do is win that game. You're probably going to the SEC championship to play Georgia, secure your spot into the playoff. And I think with as talented as Alabama was last year with, you know, Bryce not being a... Um, 
um, a first year starter, I think you like your chances a whole lot better than, you know, some of the other guys that Georgia played. And Georgia wasn't as strong. They were very good, but they were they were they were dominant, like beyond belief in 2021. Uh, um, which was a testament that Alabama was able to sneak up on them in the SEC championship. However, what does that say for Nick Saban this year? Um, you got a quarterback situation. I said in my last video, I think that needs to be the highest of highest priorities for Alabama and Nick Saban. All right, once you figure that out, I think you have a lot of really good pieces. I mean, nobody talks about special teams, but Will Rocker's back for a fifth year, so you're good there, which has always been somewhat of an Achilles heel in a lot of years for Alabama. Your offensive line is basically intact, especially in your interior. All right, you got to probably figure out, you know, one, maybe two positions on the offensive line. But, I mean, for the most part, it looks pretty solid, you know. Uh, defensive line. You lose Jamil Burroughs. I think that's a big loss. However, there's a lot of depth. They did a really good job of just recruiting over the past two or three years and trying to develop. I think you'll see, you know, the defensive line be a whole lot stronger. The uh, the linebacking core, I think that's going to be, you know, very strong. And then your secondary, which has been usually when Alabama has a really good secondary, that kind of tells the tale of the tape. All right. Um, and I think the secondary is going to be much improved as it's been over the past few years. All right. Which leads to the other side of the ball again. Uh, if the quarterback is just quarterback just has to be competent. You got enough running backs in your stable to be able to 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 kind of help there. Your wide receiving core is experienced. Um, so I think you'll be fine there. This Alabama team has all the pieces. So I, Nick Saban is looking at this. And this is going to be a fall camp for the ages. OK, if you're an Alabama fan, you need to be locked in. And, and, attent and, and very attentive to what's going on in this fall camp. Every Nick Saban press conference, I guarantee you out the gate, you're gonna see some fireworks, all right? You know, I've been you know, with Tustin, Alabama for eight years plus now, so I, I know what it's like. You know, even just as a fan, you know, you kind of watch a press conference here or there, but you know, I've pretty much watched vir virtually all of Nick Saban's press conference just to kind of get an idea of, you know, the temperature and, and kind of how his mannerisms are from a week to week basis or, you know, or a daily basis when he's kind of doing them um, more so in the fall after practices. So I'm very curious to see, you know, how he comes out. Is he going to be as pissed off as what Rohan Davy is saying and just kind of setting the tone that guys, if we lose, it's literally going to be because the other team is just better than us. It's not going to be because we shot ourselves in the foot like we did twice last year. It's not going to be because of mental errors and and us just not being ready to play because you probably should have lost three times. I already said it. Texas should have won uh, last year um, in Austin. Uh, Texas was the better team. Alabama just was able to, uh, to just close it out. They didn't know how to win yet. That's really what it all boiled down to. If Quinn Ewers doesn't get hurt, that game is over. But anyway, that's the whole topic for another day. Um, but a pissed off Nick Saban. When is the last time we've had a pissed off Nick Saban? Can, can y'all tell me? Like, give me, drop a comment below in the comment section. When's the last time there's been a pissed off Nick Saban prior to the season? Let me do a quick thing. 2014? 2015? Coming in 2015? Uh, you know, you, you let... Iowa State, you were up 21 with 21 6. Is that what it was in the first half? Something like that. And you, you blew that one because you decided you want to throw the ball 40 times when you had Derrick Henry gashing. Is, was that, was that a Nick, pissed off Nick Saban? Maybe? 2015? I don't know. Talk to me. Let me know in the comment section. All right. Well, I thought that was a very compelling uh, interview that, or really soundbite and clips that uh, Rohan Davy had. Um, so let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know what y'all think. And then um, we'll, we'll get to some more topics. As I, as I said, make sure you're, you're liking, make sure you like this video, smash that like button real quick if you haven't done so already. Need 100 out the gate, y'all already know. Um, let Make sure you're following us on our, on our socials, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of the above. Share this with your favorite Alabama fan. This is Brandon, AKA Fresh, signing off.